Uh, 7.30 in the morning, leaving Bursianos. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool outside actually. Um, I am two days from Leon. Uh, which is uh, what I consider the end of the Meseta. Some people say Astorga is the end, uh, but Leon is civilization. So, instead of just endless fields and long flat roads, uh, you get into a city where there's actual buildings and apartments and restaurants and all that. So, uh, two days. I'm headed for... Uh, uh, Reliejos, I think is, uh, is what, what this town is. Uh, it's just a tiny little town. A um, couple of albergues there. And shouldn't be a problem getting a bed. It's just been, there's just not really anybody walking out here in the Meseta. Um, you know, it feels kind of almost like wintertime uh, if you... If you prefer less people and you don't mind the heat, uh, then summertime may be the time to do your Camino. Um, yeah, the Meseta, a lot of people dropped out, I think. I just don't see their faces anymore. I, I know some of the group that I was, uh, I got a day ahead of them that the, the day I, um, the long day I, uh, where I did two sections um, to get into Burgos, I got a day ahead of them. Didn't think I'd ever see them again. So I just sort of said, all right, well, maybe I'll see you guys in Leon if I stay an extra day. And, and um, yeah, like two days later, they're sitting there in town with me. And I'm like, where did you guys come from? You were, you know, two days ago, you were a full day ahead behind me. And they said, well, we took a taxi or a bus or something to... Uh, skip forward and then I haven't seen any of them since I think they're um, maybe um, Jumping forward a bit the Meseta is definitely a, a Difficult stretch if you don't know why you're here if uh, You know you're sort of just here for the adventure and and uh, It's not really a spiritual thing for you. It, it can be uh, sort of challenging but um, for uh, there's some people here who just seem to enjoy being here and so I've, you see a lot of couples um, walking together and so they're just sort of doing their thing and um, but uh, pretty quiet all in all, in all. Uh, yeah, there's just been, uh, I, I was at uh, La Peralta um, Albergue in Bercianos. It's right when you get into town. And uh, there there was maybe, I, I think, 10 or 12 people staying there. It's a pretty big place, but um, yeah, just not that many people. So I've got about uh, 21 kilometers to do today for about four hours of walking. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of taking taking my time. Um, Burgos is 45 kilometers, so yeah, I think I'll get there tomorrow. Uh, that's the normal you stop in Reliejos, and then uh, you do your last 24 kilometers to uh, to uh, Leon, Leon. So. So this is the uh, stretch of road where that little guy's usually walking. Um, this is a long section, so uh, a couple of kilometers at least. And this is about the time that I'm normally by here. And I've seen him every, every time I've been through here. So uh, we'll see if he's here. Uh, oh, on a bike. So somewhere it's not not usually right here. There's um, I don't know, a little ways down there. Uh, there's uh, like a little park area, and he's usually right about there. Every time I've walked through, somewhere within a hundred meters of that, and he's wa he's usually walking right along the side of the road here. He's got a big stick, and he's sort of feeling the edge of the road with the stick. So we'll see.
Well, here's the little park. Uh, I haven't seen the little guy yet. I think maybe he's not out today. He's been here every other year, and now that I'm actually looking for him, he's not here. Uh, so, either he's uh, not around anymore, or he's starting late, or he started early and he's way up there somewhere. But I'm here, I'm through here pretty early, so normally I'm through here maybe a little bit later. And uh, so maybe, maybe I'm not gonna see him this time. Yeah, so no, uh, no little guy out here this time. It's the first time I've been through here and he hasn't been here. Oh well. Uh, could just be uh, off day or something. It, it is, what is it, Saturday, I think. And he takes Saturdays off, who knows. Uh, yeah, so I'm headed in the direction of Reliejos today. And that would be 21 kilometers. That would not be a very long day. And um, I guess I didn't get an early start. I uh, started at about eight. I sat and had, uh, I know it was about 7.20 or so, coming up on 7.30, when I was, uh, was getting ready to leave and then they opened the restaurant in the albergue um, at 7.30, so they were just opening. I was the first one in the, in the dining room and uh, I sat there for maybe 30 minutes. So I think I started at eight and it's about 9.30. So I've been walking an hour and a half haven't stopped and I've gone 11 kilometers I'm exactly halfway and so hour and a half 11 kilometers wow I'm doing I'm doing good time seven kilometers an hour uh, thereabouts yeah um, that's the speed uh, that's a good speed for me that's my kind of my normal speed Joe walks faster than that even um, but uh, 11 kilometers in an hour and a half yeah, okay. So I got to go another 11 to Rey Liejos. So I should be there at 11 o'clock. And um, that uh, may not be enough walking for me today. Uh, considering the speed I'm going. It's um, total, it would have been 45 kilometers to Leon. And uh, that would be another, you know, that would be a huge walk. Um, but if you break it up, you know, by seven kilometers an hour walking speed, if I'm, you know, continuing to feel good, it's basically flat ground, um, then, uh, you know, you get about six, six and a half hours of walking. And I've done that. I do that all the time. I just don't normally do it this fast. Um, you know, normally I'd be a little bit slower, but this is flat ground. I'm walking on the road rather than on the uh, trail there. The trails, summertime, the, the uh, trail there is full of these little stickers that are just, just ripe. <laughs> they're dry and they're brittle and they kind of turn to dust, but they got these tiny little hair sticker things. And they're just ready to jump off and attach to your shoes and socks at the slightest touch. So everybody's sort of walking in the road. Um, there's a couple of people in front of me. And there's a... Uh, well, there were two people behind me. Um, yeah, so um, anyway, it was 45 kilometers to Lyon when I started the day. And I've walked 11, almost 12 now. And um, so I've got a little over 30 kilometers to Lyon. Who knows? We'll see how I feel. Um, I, I almost always stop in Reliejos uh, because that's 21 kilometers, but there is nothing to do there. There's a couple of little albergues and there's a couple of little bars. And if I get there at 11, that's just, there's a lot of day left to try to fill. And, um, you know, if I'm feeling good, I might as well walk. Even if I don't make it all the way to Lyon, um, I would get, 
someplace closer and then I just stroll into Leon pretty easily in the morning uh, tomorrow um, so I'm uh, getting pretty much done with the Maceta here we go everything's it's all dirt normally this is all uh, I don't know uh, wheat or something uh, weather's great. It's nice and cool out. The the heat is over as we get, you know, further out of the Meseta. It's it's just a little cooler. I think it peaks in the mid 80s um, this week, and uh, right now it's probably in the 60s. It's perfect walking weather. Okay, had to put my hat on to protect the back of my neck. I could I could uh, I could go a long way today. Well, we'll see. Well, I walked into Reliejos at 11.15, right on schedule. Did 21 kilometers in three hours and 15 minutes. That's about six, six and a half kilometers per hour, uh, which is a pretty good pace. Seven would be uh, better. I didn't really stop, so I didn't really stop along the way. Um, but uh, there's a map of Reliejos. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a good pace, and and uh, and I'm feeling feeling good. My knees and feet feel good. I've only done 21k today, so I'm going to keep going. I normally stay in this town. It's just sort of a small town. There's not much here. Um, the first albergue, when you get in, into town on the left side, um, it's uh, right up right up there behind the trees. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice place. It's a nice couple that runs it. I don't know when they, I think they bought it or something a couple years ago, but they do uh, like Belgian crepes and stuff. They do uh, some pretty good stuff there, uh, but I'm going to skip it. I don't want to weigh myself down. I'm going to grab a little something at the market up here and, um, and uh, keep on moving. I think I can knock out at least another, at least another 10, uh, you know, it's 21 to, or 24 to uh, Leon if I'm, if I'm feeling feeling strong that would be a 45 kilometer day though but it's only you know I, I sat for 30 minutes and so it's only uh, not even noon yet. Reliejos uh, has these cool little hillside uh, dwellings uh, they go right under the dirt and they had a, a whole bunch of them in this uh, built into this mound here uh, that's kind of what what you notice about it when you get here um, these uh, underground entrances like that so Anyway, got to keep moving. Here's the uh, the one market in town that I know of. It's like a little closet, but they've got cokes and stuff, so I'll get a couple of things. All right, leaving Reliejos. Got my uh, my walking juice. Um, had a coffee, and um, I've been drinking a lot more cokes this trip. Normally, I don't drink soda. Not I don't drink it at home, and I don't usually drink it here. I usually drink cafe con leche, but I'm just not really drinking as much coffee on this trip and um, drinking a lot more water and uh, more cokes just it's something you can grab they have vending machines so I've just been grabbing one out of the vending machine just for the little sugar boost and then uh, and um, that's been giving me a little more energy so this is the put that around this is the town of Mancia de las Mulas and um, I've done 26 kilometers today so far. Still feeling good. I'm going to continue on. Um, it's about 1 o'clock. I've walked about um, a little over four hours. I'm doing about six kilometers an hour, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, if I can do another uh, 19 kilometers today, which at the pace I'm going is just over three hours. You know, put me, if I stop for a little bit, that'll put me in about five o'clock. Um, then uh, that'll put me in Leon with a 45 kilometer day. So I'll see if I can keep going. I'll, I'll take a couple of breaks and you know, rest my feet a little bit. But, uh, back here. Uh, yeah, looking good so far. I'm, I'm feeling good. 